I'm a skinhead. Huh? What's wrong with that? I came to England, 1960, and uh, decided to try to better my career. I used to have skinheads coming to listen to me, to dance to me. I was playing the music that they that they wanted to hear, which was a skinhead reggae or uh, a uh, ska. I used to be a skinhead with my pork pie hat and, and my suits. And, and everything, and they, yeah, they got, they used to have lots of black skinheads, but some of them now, some of them I don't know, some of them get too old, some of them going to church now, and some of them die, uh, but they used to have lots of skinheads, black skinheads, <laughs> but they never fight against, they never fight against wild skinheads, because in those days, People just go to, to a dance to have fun and dance till the morning comes. Scar started by boogie music from New Orleans in, in, in America. And uh, we start experimenting by doing different things with the boogie music. And that's how Scar came. And uh, if you listen, probably you might be too young, but if you listen to some of the old rhythm and blues from America, you hear a guitar, get, 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 a shuffle, a guitar shuffle. That is car. Scar music started in Jamaica. There was a great mixture of two influences. There was the rude boy and the sort of hard working class kids growing up and what came out of the two was skinhead and it was white and it was black the two clashed only on the dance floor and only for the best of reasons uh, i never saw no sort of discrimination against the two of them ever it's got such a contagious feel to it that nobody can give it up as you hear it in the background it has to make you move you just have to you have to like it um, it's contagious it's like some sort of disease it spreads really quickly across the world and I like it it brings me to my childhood again uh, dark clubs where um, where where you don't see nothing but movement and not much light. 